This touche can be sprayed from a simple airbrush, especially if Lascaux lift solution is to be used, although I use an atomizer or a toothbrush to make my splatter. Other airbrush techniques can be employed and tonal effects similar to aquatints in etching can be created. It can also be used for painting washes and handles like Chinese ink. When diluted, it creates a further range of washes. It's important to shake the container thoroughly before squeezing some touche into your palette. When painting with the touche, work on a clean white horizontal surface or a light box and use the airbrush according to the manufacturer's instructions and provide adequate ventilation. Wash spray goes on easily to make a smooth layer. It's thin enough to produce some really sharply defined textures with the most basic tools. I chop up old paintbrush handles and sharpen them to a point or to a chisel edge. Wire wool Abrasives and scourers are equally effective. The lift solution is used to create negative marks in a field of sprayed touche. I'm applying the solution quite thickly with a brush so that the touche won't permeate the marks. The solution needs to dry completely before overlaying the spray. I'm working into the solution in order to edit the marks. I then need to blow away the loose bits because brushing would damage the remaining marks. Just a note about using an atomizer. I guess you use whatever's at hand, and I had bought a primitive spray device that used compressed air, but I found I got better results with the atomizer. I've laid the positive flat and blown the jet of spray over the top of the plastic sheet, positioning the atomizer a short distance away so that the smaller particles of the touche are the ones that reach the sheet. I found that if I positioned the sheet vertically, the touche ran down the surface. It's very easy to overdo it and have all the spots join up, so take it easy. Removing the solution can take some time, and here you see me rubbing it away with a cloth, soaking it in warm water, and continuing to rub away with a stiffer brush. I was trying to find out whether layered brush strokes made any difference in terms of the tonality of the marks printed. The answer is, no they don't. If you put a good layer of touche wash spray down, it will expose as a clear printable mark. I wanted to try out the diluting liquid with a variety of the touches. Wash spray is a good cover up so even a dilute version exposes as a positive mark. I've had to burnish this positive with a stencil brush to get any tonal variety, and then it's gone a bit Francis Bacon on me.
Now, I have used wash spray a lot in my prints and here's why. It's translucent, so you can see a drawing on a light box through the touche. It's very easy to edit with a variety of tools including sharpened wooden brush handles. It's waterproof once it's dried and relatively scratch proof compared to touche wash. This is just to show you how easy it is to see through wash spray and to work directly from your design. This is another way of creating textured half tones. I'm using bits of card and a lid to resist the splatter, then repositioning them to get some tonal variation after the first layer has dried. Again, it's easy to edit out any of unwanted blobs once the touche has dried. This is the touche I have used most recently in my own work, so I know some of the things that it does very well. The dried surface is very responsive to being worked into with any hard tool, wood, plastic or metal. Its translucency is very useful when you're building up a design in a number of layers, especially if you have a light box to work on. Its potential for spray work is very good, although I have preferred to work with my posi in a horizontal position to stop the touche running down the sheet. You can use it with the lift solution as well, but I think it takes some practice to get the thickness of the lift solution right so that the touche washes off easily. If you're going to build a print in multiple layers with accurate registration, this is the touche that I'd have in my studio.